And hello friends, you are watching NFL Daily here on Chat Sports, presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sports book. I am your host, Tom Downey, here with the latest look into the NFL playoff picture. We'll start things off over in the AFC. No one has clinched a playoff spot yet, although as we'll get into it in a little bit here, the Chiefs and several others can actually do so this weekend. Here's how things currently sit. The Chiefs, then the Patriots, Texans Steelers with the Chargers and Ravens for now as your frontrunners in the AFC wildcard. We'll come back to that here in a minute, but first look at the NFC playoff picture where we do have one team that has already clinched a playoff spot. That is the LA Rams. They have clinched a playoff berth and of course a division title as well. They did that last weekend. Now, they can also clinch a bye. Yes, the Rams can already clinch a first round bye this weekend and all they have to do is win. If the Rams win this weekend, they will secure a first round buy in the NFC. And then after that, in theory, they can get closer and closer to securing home field advantage throughout the NFL playoffs in the NFC. All right, other teams here in the mix right now, the Saints, they are also on the verge of securing a playoff spot. They could have clinched last week, but they lost to the Cowboys and that ruined those chances. Here are the current clinching scenarios for the Saints. First up, if they win or tie, they secure the a NFC South. If the Panthers, meanwhile, lose or tie, well, the Saints are also, and then they can also just secure a playoff spot, i.e. a wild card spot. If the Vikings lose, if the Eagles lose or tie, and if the Redskins lose or tie, in reality, just take care of the division. Win this weekend, the Saints will have the NFC South spot locked up. Now, who is the better team? Type R for the Rams, type S for the Saints. We saw them play once this year. It was an absolutely thrilling game. Now the Saints have the lesser record, but come playoff time, I lean towards the Saints or the Rams, although both these teams are clearly the class of the NFC. And other teams still in the mix right now. How about the Bears? They are sitting there at 8-4. and four. They have a one-and-a-half game lead in the NFC North over the Minnesota Vikings. And then your fourth team right now in the NFC, leading the NFC East are the Dallas Cowboys. They cling to a one-game lead over the Philadelphia Eagles, who they will play this weekend. If the Cowboys win that game, it expands to a two-game lead over the Eagles, and depending on what happens with the Redskins, it comes to a two-game lead overall in the NFC East. And if they sweep the Eagles, that almost gives them that extra game, that extra half-game advantage, and it'll give them any type of tiebreaker. You can see the bet DSI odds right now, Cowboys minus 278, Eagles plus 270, no surprise given a just plethora of injuries this season. The Redskins, not great betting odds. Don't waste your money on the Giants. If you want to bet on those odds, folks, head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code LIVE120 with our partner, BetDSI. They'll give you an extra 120% deposit bonus. What that means is you put down 50, they're going to give you 60 bucks extra to bet with. Put down 100, they're going to give you 120. Put down 500 extra dollars, they'll give you 6 to bet with, but only if you use promo code LIVE120 at chatsports.com slash bet. All right, over now to the wild card race, and it seems at least to me, in my perspective, that two teams have kind of emerged a little bit here as of late. The Seahawks, they are there at 7-5. and five. Their schedule is not very daunting. I was wrong about Seattle. I think you will see them make the playoffs. We'll get to my full predictions here in a little bit. The Vikings are there at 6-5-1, and one. only game in that back of the NFC North, a somewhat manageable schedule, big game by the way, against Seattle actually as it turns out. And then teams in the hunt, the Panthers, they seem to have fallen apart. And the Eagles and the Redskins also not really in great shape. Maybe the Eagles can sneak into a wild card. Redskins, they just have so many injuries. And meanwhile, if the Eagles can make a run here, the Cowboys also still remain in good shape in the NFC East and in the wild cards. Who do you have by the way? in the NCAA. We mentioned the Cowboys earlier. The Redskins, I don't trust them. Just too many injuries, unfortunately, for Jay Gruden and company. The Eagles, I won't totally rule them out. And even if it's only for a wild card race, I think they can make a move there. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Over now to the AFC, and this is where things get a little bit more complicated in both the wild card race and, by the way, in just the overall division standing. So we'll start things off with KC here. They can clinch a playoff spot this week. Step one, win and you're in that's all they have to do if you're kansas city if they win this weekend they secure a playoff spot now if they don't win they can still get in with, with this scenario they need the dolphins to lose or tie 
and the Colts to lose or tie, and the Titans to lose or tie. Now, the more simple option here is just to have the Chiefs win their game and they'll get in the playoffs. But either way, even though the AFC West will come down to the Chiefs and the Chargers, Kansas City, they are in fantastic shape right now. The Patriots, they sit there at 9-3. and three. They can also secure the AFC East and get themselves a playoff spot. They have a very simple path here. If they win this weekend, they win the division. If they tie this weekend, they also win the division. So the Patriots, I think, are in great shape. Maybe not this weekend, but I think that's a more likely outcome there. The Patriots are in great shape in a lowly AFC East to secure yet another division crown. Now, who is the better team? Again, we've seen this matchup. Chiefs or the Patriots? In terms of regular season, I think you'd be hard-pressed to say it's not the Chiefs right now. But when it comes playoff time, we know how Belichick and Brady tend to be. So you can make an argument for the Patriots, but I think right now, who is the better team? Give me the Chiefs. They've looked fantastic so far this season. Also looking fantastic as of late, how about the Houston Texans? They have been absolutely balling out the past couple, eh, I'll give it two months or so. They can also secure a division crown this weekend. The Texans can win the AFC South with a relatively simple, straightforward path here. If they win or the Titans lose, the Texans have secured the AFC South. They are your division winner. They can also win with a tie. I love the tie scenarios. That's where things get all crazy and fun, but it's simple for Houston. They win and the Titans lose. Houston is your AFC South champion already, by the way, which we would not have predicted after a rather rough start this year for Houston. All right, more AFC talk here. The Pittsburgh Steelers, this is where things get a little bit dicey. They sit there at 7-4-1, and one, barely ahead now of the Baltimore Ravens. And here are your AFC North standings and your bet DSI odds to win. Don't worry about the Bengals or the Browns. It's a two-team race, Pittsburgh and Baltimore. Could go down to the wire here, so who do you have? Let me know in the comment section. I think it'll be close. I'll take Pittsburgh, but the odds, heck, Baltimore's hanging around there, folks. Now, if you want to get in on this action, you think it's going to be Pittsburgh, or you want to go crazy and pick the Bengals or Browns, use promo code LIVE120 at chatsports.com slash bet. Put down 50 bucks, they're going to give you 60. Put down 100, they're going to give you 120. Put down 500, they will give you 600 extra dollars to bet with, but only if you use promo code LIVE120 at chatsports.com slash bet. Now, while Pittsburgh cannot clinch this weekend, a wild card team actually can, folks. That is the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, it's very complicated, but LA is now in magic number clinching territory here for a playoff berth, i.e. a wild card spot. Here's how they get in. Step one, obviously, they win. Step two, they need the Dolphins to lose, the Broncos to lose or tie, the Colts to lose or tie, and the Titans to lose. So I don't think you'll get all of that this weekend, but it gives you a chance. And L.A. trending very much towards securing a playoff spot. They've been overlooked because KC has been so great, but the Chargers are a legit playoff team this year. Now for the fun one, it's the tying scenarios. If the Chargers tie, they need a Dolphins loss, they need a Denver loss, a Colts loss, and a Titans loss or tie. And then they can also get in with a tie, a Dolphins loss, a Broncos loss, a Colts tie, and a Titans loss. So those last two, maybe not the most likely, but again, Chargers can win. They need a Dolphins, Broncos, Colts, and Titans loss. That's how LA can get a playoff berth locked up already this weekend. And then that last wild card spot is dicey. You have the Baltimore Ravens at 7-5, the Colts and the Dolphins and the Broncos and Titans. The Colts, by the way, took a big blow by losing to Jacksonville. That puts them one step behind Baltimore right now. A lot of teams in the mix there. The Bengals and Browns still kind of alive. We'll gloss over the Bills and the Jags and Jets. By the way, only two teams have been eliminated so far from the playoff race. That is the Oakland Raiders and the San Francisco 49ers, the only two teams that are mathematically out of the playoff picture. All right, folks, if you like what I'm wearing, go get your own a mizzen and main shirt. Comfortable.af is the site, and trust me, you ain't going to find a more comfortable dress shirt than a mizzen and main shirt. Go get one today. Comfortable.af, the best shirt out there. All right, time now for my projections here for the playoffs. We're in the AFC. Chiefs, that's not a surprise, right? Patriots, not a surprise. Houston, not a surprise. Pittsburgh, that is going to be the, the, the debatable one there. 
but I'll give them the edge at 10, 5, and 1. You see my projected marks up there as well. LA, feel great about them. So five teams in the AFC I feel pretty good about as being playoff teams. It's that sixth team. That last wild card spot is going to be hotly contested. The Dolphins' schedule is not that tough. Tennessee's schedule, frankly, is rather winnable. Denver could make a run. The Colts can still make a run. For now, I will give the edge, and I project everything out here, the Ravens, based on the way I have the schedule working out, they actually win the tiebreaker. I think you'll see that last playoff spot naturally go all the way down to Week 17. We've seen crazy things. We've seen teams like the Jets a couple years ago lose a win and end game and miss the playoffs and get the Steelers in. You could do something similar like that this year. But let me know who will be the wild card teams in the AFC. I got the Chargers as one. Let me know who you think that second team will be. Will be Baltimore Colts. Let, it, let me know in the comments section. All right, on now to the NFC. No surprise here. I got the Rams and the Saints as your clear-cut top two teams. I'll give the nod to the Bears. I'm not going to totally rule out the Vikings quite yet. I got the Cowboys in the NFC East. I feel really good about Seattle. I feel pretty good about Minnesota. I could see Carolina or Philadelphia pulling an upset, maybe finding a way to sneak in at 9-7 and seven if the Vikings come back down to earth or Seattle drops an extra game. But Seattle, they have the Niners home against Minnesota in a seeding matchup, potentially. Home against KC, home against Arizona. You give them one loss, I still think they're in great shape there. So I like where Seattle sits right now. I like where Minnesota sits. But let me know, do you think it'll be Seattle and Minnesota in the NFC as the wild card teams? Let me know in the comments section. And don't worry, folks, we'll come back each and every week with updates on the NFL playoff picture, clinching scenarios, and everything here on Chat Sports.